we have a Sunday subscriber special. So today, our today we have some. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my chair in. We have a uh, very special uh, Sunday special from our guy um, Red Eyes Dragonite. I think he goes by a different name now on Instagram. But anyways. Uh, he was doing a 5D's poll game, and I decided to jump in. So, we're going to go through the box and see everything that I want in his poll game. And if you ever get a chance, I'm going to, you know, check him out on Instagram. I'm going to link his information, and I'm going to try to link his uh, uh, Instagram in the description. So, and we've done mail days from him before, and they've always been next level. And here we've got the Duelist Toolbox. All the things you need to duel. Rev it up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Don't know how much that's worth, but uh, it's a little, a little beat up. But what are you going to do? All right. So now <coughs> let's see what else. So yeah, like I said, his, his pole game was just insane and you'll see exactly what i mean by this and he does other pool games like pokemon and one piece he started doing recently so we're gonna these look like uh, all the singles that i won <clears throat> um i know he does i know he's going to be doing a uh, one piece pool game here soon which you know i'm definitely gonna be a part of because one piece is actually i kind of like the artwork and whatnot and the show is always going to be a favorite no matter who you are at least in my opinion all right so we're going to go through this stack and see what kind of cards we got here so we got clear wing synchro dragon from led8 unknown synchron uh wind of the prince priestess of gusto tg blade blaster Turret Warrior. I used to. I actually used to play with this card. Uh, let's see. Rose Warrior of Revenge. That's kind of a cool card. Underground Arachnid. Trishula Secret Rare from Light's Revenge. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is, but that's a Boost Warrior. No worries. That's not on the card. I don't think. Scrap Iron Statue. Come on. Focus. There we go. Shrink. This is... Oh, this is from the Strike Anita Special Edition. Blackwing Breeze Zephyr. This is a ultra rare uh, Red Dragon Arch Fiend, Japanese. And you know I collect Japanese cards, so definitely, I definitely love those. All right, moving on. We've got Majestic Star Dragon. This is the 10 promo. We've got Power Tool Dragon. I really was happy to get this because I have the Ghost Rare, which I got from another. Uh, Instagram user was on a trade for some pole games I had, and I love that Ghost Rare, so now I have a Secret Rare to go with it. Red Dragon Archfiend. I think I actually have one of these, so that's kind of cool. This is... I don't remember offhand. It's late at night when I'm recording this, but uh, we'll go ahead and pop the name up on that one. I know I have it already in Japanese, so... Mist Worm. That's a... I think this is actually a pretty expensive ultimate rare, Ultra Rare. Die Darant Tant Ooze Giant. This is from Monstrous Revenge, a set that I didn't really open a lot of. Um, as you guys noticed, I didn't really do a lot of videos last year. Ooh, this is a Junk Synchron Korean Ultimate Rare uh, History Archive Collection. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do a lot of videos last year because um, I felt ill. I have skin cancer. And I also wound up in the hospital right between Thanksgiving and Christmas, Nitro Warrior, for some emergency surgeries because um, my pancreas was going to explode. So that just was not fun. I don't know why, but I like that. Just look how the light hits that. That's that's pretty cool. Ooh, I got a double of that. That's kind of cool. Nibiru. This is from Rarity Collection. Oh, that's actually on the... Okay, we got to take this out because... I've never actually, you know, I've opened some rarity collection, but I've never actually, that is kind of cool, actually. I like that. So, um, I've opened up a lot of sets on my own. Armed dragon, the armed dragon, armored dragon. 
All right, this is a holographic rare. This is basically the new ghost rares in Japan, a power tool. And like I said, I've been, you know, I want to collect all the power tools. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so like I said, I've, I've had all kinds of health issues popping up, but this is a new year, new start, and we got some. I got some amazing videos planned. Um, kind of stepping away from, really kind of trying to chase the meta more, just trying to open what. Just has some amazing artwork, some amazing something will activate. Uh, you know, rarities and various languages, various different TCG sets and everything like that. Kind of really get back into what I love most about collecting, which is you know the artwork. You know, um, we're gonna put this because this is kind of a um, a hint of things to come. Time Lord Trishula. This is from Hidden Arsenal Chapter One. This is the yeah, that's the dual terminal, weird looking one. Colossal Fighter, another card I really liked. Blockman. I actually sold this when I had when I first started the channel to help spun the channel amongst a whole bunch of other cards. So I'm happy to get that back. Spore, Psychic Life Transfer, Stardust Respark. Uh, Beast Machine King Bar Barbaros Ur. Doom Kaiser Dragon. I always loved this dragon, and the Secret Rare just looks amazing on it. And that's from, yeah, another set that I didn't open. Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. This is it's from a 10, and I think there's a super rare version of this. Or an ultra, I can't remember, but I know it's not a secret. So I know you got the secret. Junk Giant. Naturia Strawberry. Gravity War and Flamvil Dragonov. Sounds kind of Russian. Like it. All right. Then we got Blackwing. What's this? Pinaki. The Waving Moon. Waxing Moon. And then we got, we got another one. Blackwing Chris. The Crack of Dawn. Stardust Assault Warrior. Draco Berserker. The Tenny. Love the Secret. I actually kind of like the Prismatic Secret Rare version of this better, but I mean, it still looks kind of nice. Excel Synchron, uh, Jormungar of the Nordic Serpent, Defensive Tactics, Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendants, TG Halberd Cannon, Life Force Harmonizer, Mist Valley Shaman. I like the old Hidden Arsenal Secret Rares. They just they really kind of pop. Thought Ruler Archfiend from Bros. Legend, Junk Archer, Satellite Warrior. This is from Magical Hero. First edition. Necroid Synchro. Another Urgent Tuning. Another Junk Archer. Twin Barrel Dragon. Another old school card I really, really enjoy. Stardust Dragon. This is the alternate. I actually had... I opened up a, uh, a 20th anniversary box years ago. A couple years ago. And uh, they had this as a 20th secret rare. So And we got it as an ultra rare. So I, I, we got robbed during the 20th anniversary. Ah, see, ultra rare. I knew, it was, I knew we had another one. It's the same pack, too. So, same 10. Synchron Explorer. Oracle of the Sun. Thought Ruler Archfiend again from Brothers of Legend. Oops. Formula Synchron. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. The Dark Creator. This is... It's from a, it's from a uh, special edition. I can't remember which one, though. And it's not Raging Battle. Oh, well. No, it's actually, actually from a 10 that had Raging Battle. Iron Mark Set Go. Assault Blackwing. Witch of the Black Rose. Another beautiful card. This is Absolute Power Force. Yeah, so a lot of cards from Absolute Power Force are really expensive. Blackwing Full Armor Master. Blackwing Dragon. This is the Duelist Pack Crow um, Super Rare. Right? Yeah, Super Rare. Dark Highlander. There could only be one. It's an 80s movie slash show. Earthbound Immortal Raska. It's a little beat up, but... I'm happy to have this because I want. I've really been trying to collect uh, higher rarities of the immortal Earthbound Immortals. Yellow Baboon, Archer of the Forest. This is from LDS Three. My cat's going crazy. Miracle Synchro Fusion. That's from Ghost in the Past. This is a pretty expensive card. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Phoenix Phoenixian Cluster Amrus. And then we got Stardust Sif. Sephir Divine Dragon. Continuing on, we're almost almost done with this uh, mail day. It's just getting more and more insane. Another Junk Archer, Stardust Assault Warrior, Infernity Destroyer, 
I really love the way that cigarette pops on that. Guy Knight, Force of the Earth. Road Synchron. Allied Justice. Gowerlog. Yeah, say that one five times fast. The Wicked Eraser. That's a 10 promo. Psychic Trigger. Dragoonity Primus Pillis. Let's just take a second to appreciate that. Gen X Neutron. Black Ring Shura, the Blue Flame. This is... This is another promo. Uh, Dandelion. If you get the name in there. Uh, Gold Rare. Black Rose Dragon from Dual Devastator. Dark Rule Arch Archfiend. Didi Sprites. Road Warrior. Core Compression. Another one of the uh, Divine Dragons. Another LDS-3 uh, Piscu. Miss Valley Baby Rock. Oracle of the Sun. Asian and Mystery Earth. Another Gen X Neutron. Ooh, this is definitely Korean because I can tell by the writing. It's a Starlight Stardust Road. So, I think I actually have one of these. But it'll be kind of funny because I think I did give it one of these. So, the fact that I got it back is just hilarious to me. Tuner Scheme and Harvest Angel of Wisdom. Okay, so. <coughs> Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got this little black... Uh, Really stiff too. It's in there. Oop, there's slabs. <clears throat> Oop, I'm gonna flip that around. All right, so we've got one, two, three PSA slabs. First one is the Earthbound Immortal Oscar Piscu. First, it's not first edition. That is an error slab, mislabeled. I actually have a few up here in my. Uh, little case that are mislabeled so um i'm definitely gonna hold on to this i don't really care about the grade it's just the fact that it's labeled first edition but it's not i'm gonna check to make sure the cert follow you know that the cert matches and everything like that but that's um red eyes you know dragon eye you know red's not the kind of person that will screw somebody over that's what's next we've got bone crusher this, when we were playing the game, one of the uh, other players, her name was uh, Twilight Crisis. Um, I promised her if I won this, I was going to give it to her. So this is going to you, Twilight, if you're watching. And then we've got Japanese Ghost Rare PSA Mint 9. Japanese Ghost Rare. Let's see if I can get it to pop. There it is. Whoa. whoa. I don't care who you say... You know, if you look up here, I've got some ghost rares in there, but they don't just they don't they don't hit like this does. This actually looks 3D. That just looks faded. I'm not clowning on my ghost rares because I love ghost rares. I'm just saying. All right, last but not least, so it looks like we got one more package in here. And this feels like a bunch of top loaders. Oh, we got some packs. All right, uh, hang on, let me get this out. All right. Okay, I gotta fight it. There it goes. All right. So let's see what we got here. I should open up like butter. I like that. Okay. Sorry if it was too close. I was more paying attention to the wrap. Regular Stardust Overdrive. Um, never, you know, and it's really cool because it actually, you see that little red dot up there? That means it's a, a, um, let me set this down for a sec. It's a um, European pack, and this says, I don't even know where it says where it was made. Frankfurt, Germany. Yep. So, European pack. So, it's not a German pack, but still, you know, I'd open a German pack. Rip to the end, Viper. And Shine Palace. This is before it became Toon Kingdom. Yeah. Ooh, we got the Crusader of Endiamon. I don't know, I probably misspelled, mispronounced that, but we got to get, we're going to set that right there. Get us a sleeve. 
for this because this is a European LT. So, oh, that that looks gorgeous. It's like it looks like it just got like pressed. Get me a little, um, a little scratched up, but yeah, you know, let's get a top loader for that. So, in addition to everything else we've got, we got ourselves a nice little um, ultimate rare pull. Epic. And as you can tell, uh, if you see my Instagram video, uh, one box, my first box of Aldean Fates, I pulled that. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay. Alright, so we're going to stack these over with the rest of the cards. Fight with this other one to get out. Okay. And then, see this one say Germany too? No, this one says Belgium right here. So you see? So made in Belgium. So they're both European packs. And it does have that red dot. So I like that. Okay, we pulled two ultis. Spider Spider. Oshelon. Gemini Booster. Solitaire Magician. That's cute. Uh, Reptilian Poison. And a spider web. So no ulti. A lot of spiders in that one. Not complaining, of course. All right, what else we got? So <clears throat> this can go over, you know, because I didn't look at the rest of these. Uh, all right, so now other things we got. We've got a Mark of the Rose. That is an ultimate rare, Crossroads of Chaos. Turbo Warrior, also from Crossroads of Chaos. A Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. That crossroads of chaos too? No, that, that one I think is. No, I don't remember. My brain's not working. I don't remember what set that's from, but Cosmic Fortress Golgar from Crimson. Uh... The crossroads of chaos Crimson Crisis is this one, and then there it is. As you can tell, I've been setting up the cards because I won this. So many people were upset. So we're gonna set that aside for a second. We're gonna. Pull this out and take a look at the condition. And then you can be the judge as to whether or not his, you know, as you can tell, this is scratched up. So that's, I'm not complaining because this card is a pain to try and get. So the foiling scratched up, but other than that, let's check it back. So this is definitely a mod play, but you know. Who's gonna complain when you have a black rose dragon? And even then, if you hit that light, <laughs> you don't even see the scratches. So, still, I think really good. This is definitely going on the PC. It's definitely a binder copy. Um, I might grade it if I just wanna protect it from getting damaged anymore. All right, what else we've got? We've got a Majestic Star Dragon. Let's uh, take a look at this. Check out this condition. Let's leave it here. Oh. Fight these pool game. Some more scratching on the foil, but it still pops in the back. So yeah, these cards are mod played, but I mean you're playing a pool game. Actually, that's damage. I don't care. Find a copy. I don't mind the fact they're scratched, but I mean you know when you're playing a, a pool game, you know mystery pirates pool games, whatever. There's never going to be a guarantee that they're going to be near mint. Like this one has some scratching too. But, you know, that actually looks like some dirt too. I don't know. But, boom. Junk Berserker pops out. So, again, not a complaint because, I mean, they're ghost rares. And Black, Ro Black Rose, even damage, is an expensive card. So, the fact that it's... You know... I call that mod play, maybe even yeah mod play. So we have next up we have TG Wonder Magician, <clears throat> and then we have another power tool. So this goes with the secret. This goes with the Ghost Rare. I think the Ghost Rare is also unlimited, so it's kind of cool to have a match for that. And then we're going to go into this. This was another card I won. I actually pulled it. And I actually did record um, those. So if you guys actually want to see how the pull games are played and everything like that, 
I might, I can create a second video where it goes into how, how he does it, but look at that thing. Hmm. Been following Ruxton, and he has been trying forever to pull this thing. So, this is actually, I think, the third, yeah, the third Starlight I won from him. The first one being um, Gaia, the Force, or Gaia, uh, Nine of Magical Dragons, or something like that. And then um, Visa Starfrost, and now the Blackwing. Love it. And then, the one thing I was the most excited about is this first edition Korean. Let's see if you can tell what it is. Ancient Fairy Dragon. And again, there's some scuffing on the, uh, on the foiling, but I mean... Just look at that. And a first edition Ghost Rare. I mean, just in and of itself in Korean. How hard is that to find? And we didn't even know this was like when he pulled it. He even got a Korean card. <laughs> um, he didn't notice the fact that it was a first edition. And he was just like, that was cool. And the only two listings that, you know, during the poll game I looked it up. The only two listings of any kind of Ancient Fairy Dragon first edition Korean Ranges between, oh, that was just, I'm going to flip that around. Uh, range between, you know, 300 to $700. So, still, gorgeous card to have in my collection. So, <clears throat> checking the box. Yep, that is it. So, you know, we've got, we got some pretty good <laughs> cards here that uh, I don't think anybody would really complain about. Especially, you know, considering the fact that a lot of this is, you know, hundreds of dollars. I think if I was, you know, I, I could probably pull up a total of what all of this is, not including the two Pokemons. Uh, did this, we're going to have to add into it. But, um, amazing mail day. Thanks again, Red Eyes Dragonite. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, like I said, link his information. I'm also going to pull up and probably uh, put like a little card where, you know, it shows another video that I did concerning stuff that he had sent us that I won in the poll game. So until next time, peace.